In this lecture, I'm going to talk about what is meant by biofilm. Biofilms are slime encased membrane that is being formed by bacteria, a community of bacteria, many bacteria, form the slime layer around themselves. They can be found a lot of such so, so for, for example, you can you've heard of in the knee implants, like you know knee implants or knee surgeries. They're really in, they really can have a function there, and it's really important for the medical devices as well. But what it really is is that biofilms are essentially made up of something known as extra so the polymeric substance, extra cellular polymeric substance or something known as EPS right so this EPS is comprised of DNA glycoproteins proteins carbohydrates and I mean polysaccharides DNA um, polysaccharides proteins and etc so because think about it, so while bacteria it well to build that there needs to be many many different bacteria to form to form to aggregate but this aggregation place has to be may has to have to has this condition met what do I mean by that so for the biofilm to be formed there need to be conditions conditions of the environments have to be met so it's really important so it can't grow anywhere so conditions must be met. If the conditions are are met, then we can have initially bacteria comes, the different bacteria would come building up that extra polymeric substance, which are made of DNA polymeric polysaccharide and proteins. And as more as more as more of these bacteria would come, they would add more to this polymer, right? So they would increase this polymer as more of the bacteria would come and aggregate. So this polymer will increase in size thickens. And um, yeah, so at the later stage, we don't see any de detachment of the bacteria, but at initially when the polymer sort of is very thin, it's not build up, it's not have a lot of these com components, we see, it, it, um, the bacteria would easily detach. But after more and more bacteria would come, they will build up this EPS and uh, no longer bacteria will detach. And but the reason is why would why would it do that though? Why is why is the reason for biofilms formation? For that I need to draw this image. So biofilm should be something like that. Right, this is really brief sketch. It has a negatively charged in a very periphery cells. Periphery, very periphery is a cell also, right? So negatively charged right. now in the center we see they would acquire the nutrition and oxygen, right? So the uh, nutrition and oxy oxygen avail availability is something like that. Where here lacks O2, lacks O2 and nutrition, and these peripheral cells have a my highest oxygen and nutrition. So it means we see fast growing fast growing bacteria would form around the color around the cell wall. So we see fast growing and really a slow growing. Here is really a slow growing. Slow. Alright. Now inside this um, biofilm we see not only about the nutrition but for example here we see more of um, toxic toxic accumulation as well because um, bacteria that reside in the center usually lack so nutrition and will usually end up dying and the to even with toxic accumulation and with products of the cops, when they die, they release some side products that can be taken up by the bacteria around the cell wall. So this would get 
higher and bigger and larger number of the sides, where here is much, much less number we can see. And so why why that we cannot treat it? Because all biofilms can be treated by removal, surgery removal. You cannot treat it with antibiotics. Here's why. Antibiotics, because they possess two different things. One is a negatively charged, because for example, this is our um, anti 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 um, bacterial or right? antibacterial drug, which is positively charged, right? This is positively charged. See, so it's negative and, and positively charged, so they cannot come in because they would be neutralized, and and the drug must be positive for it have to have its own effect. So. First of all, the negative charge would neutralize the positive charge. It would neutralize the effect, all right? But even, for example, say the bacteria could enter and penetrate inside the biofilm. So we still have some, um, um, you know, drugs here. There are something known as persister cells. They're really important cells. Persister. Persister. So persister cells, what I have, what, what happens is that once this once this drug, because maybe assume okay, this drug is coming and you know um, removing some of the bacteria around here, removed some of the like you know, killing some bacteria, cell walls, cell wall of this biofilm. Not cell, wall, but you know, killing some of this removal of some of this portion. But it would become denaturalized. It would have it, it, the drug would not work hundred percent for all the time. It would neutralize, right? So once the drug's effect has been gone, this this persistent cells can able to regenerate, can regenerate the dose area that was been taken up by a drug that was eliminated by drug. So in a, in a way, it would re reform the area that was being destroyed by the bacteria. And um, one other effect is very important that um, drug would be the, that would make the drug uh, ineffective is because they have something known as cell to cell signals interaction. So because for many 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 drugs, what do we see is that many drugs would only work efficient when the cells are still alive. When the cells are working, when the bacterial cells are working, you know, forming and interacting. But the cell to cell signals allowing the cells to, for example, be be intelligent in a way that while they sense the presence of the drug, they would interact in a way that would deactivate their mechanism, they deactivate their function. So they would trick the drug in a way that there is no cell active. So in that way, the drug would be ineffective and can easily be rendered, can easily be kicked out, and persistent cells would take take the and and form the you know this stuff here. So cell to cell signal interaction physiology is very important as well. That's um, that's I think what it is, and I hope it, I hope it was helpful.